in this arrangement we have a ball and a rod we are asked how soon will the ball be on the opposite end of the rod it's quite similar to previous problem except that here the ball is not sliding so this problem is actually easier than previous one so let's assume the tensions so here let's assume it's t just above the rod so t and t becomes 2t so on the ball it, the tension is 2t and let's assume the acceleration so if the ball is going up with acceleration a so with our constraint equation you can see that the rod is coming down with acceleration 2a so if you have doubt on this you can check 1.73 and 1.74 on how we are relating the accelerations so it's simply 0 plus a dash by 2 is equal to a which gives a dash is equal to 2a so our, uh, our variables here are only tension and acceleration so we'll write our force equation on both and let's find their values so we do that and we get the values of a now relative to the ball the block is the rod is moving down with acceleration 3a right because uh, relative acceleration is a2 minus a1 so a2 is 2a downwards so minus of this will also be downwards so it becomes 3a downwards so that is acceleration of rod relative to the ball 3a downwards so this point top point of the rod will meet this ball which is at rest in time t so that time t then will be given as l is equal to half a t square a is 3a so now simply just find the value of acceleration from these two equations and substitute it here to get the answer time.